morning, my name is Lois Scribner and I'm the owner of the Canterbury Centre Bed and Breakfast here in Canterbury, New Hampshire. The Bed and Breakfast is in an old colonial house which dates back to 1793, built originally by the Reverend Frederick Parker, local congregational minister after the American Revolution. This morning I'm going to make a fruit crisp which is a cross between the English apple crumble and the American crisp. And I'm going to use the autumn fruits that we have available here right now. I have a variety of organic apples from the field outside. And there's a pear tree as well. So we've got a little pear to add. And the last of the mixed fruits is a peach from the Hackleborough Orchard up the road. This is the last crop of the peaches of this season. I'm going to make the filling for the crisp. And I'm going to start with one of these beautiful local apples and what I would do is check all the time whether or not all of it's good because organic apples often need to be treated like windfalls and you can see this is not perfect inside but we're going to get a good amount of fruit from it anyway and I like to mix apple and pear so the local deer love these pears that we have out in the field so every autumn it's a race between them and me to get the ones that are low enough for somebody to pick yep. and this is perfectly ripe it's firm but it's soft so we're going to have both color and flavor in this and so the third fruit that is going to go in here is some peach from Hackleborough Orchard. And as you can see, it's really soft, but it's still firm and quite delicious and will produce a different kind of sweetness in this crisp. And it basically means that we don't need to add sugar at all because it's all going to come from the fruit. Washed and dried this lemon and I'm going to zest a little for flavoring and then once we've got some zest on there I'm going to get a little juice so you see you don't need to add sugar you can add lemon zest and lemon juice and it brings out the natural sweetness in the fruit and complements it very nicely there we go. And I'm going that if I add some lemon juice to the fruit not only does it add extra moisture but it also adds a wonderful flavor and complements the fruit. So we're just gonna pour that in and that's plenty for this one person crisp. These are the ingredients for the topping. I start with a stick of butter. I like to use the Irish uh, Kerrygold butter and that will be mixed with two to three ounces of brown sugar depending on how sweet you want it. I will then add a good four ounces of Quaker oats and also four ounces of the brown rice flour so this topping ends up being gluten-free and it has a softness as well as some fiber that people have found both healthy and delicious. So here I've assembled all those ingredients, the butter, and the sugar and the brown flour and the oats. And the way I make this quite simply is to use a knife to cut the dry ingredients into the butter. So here I'm just trying to cut the butter, which is still fairly stiff, into the dry ingredients. And I work it in further by using my old fashioned pastry cutter Again, trying to get the butter to break up and to mix with all of those dry ingredients. I keep this ready-made in the fridge so that when I need it to assemble a crumble or a crisp, I've got it ready to go. And this is the texture you want to achieve. It's like coarse sand, cold, coarse sand to add some of the topping to the fruit mix and the idea is to just cover it not swamp it but cover it so that it goes down into the little crevices there and it will 
make like an envelope for the, the fruit. And the final stage, before I cook it, I cover it with some foil because that will help the heat stay in and cook the fruit thoroughly. So this is going to go into the oven, which I've set at 350, and I let it cook for a good hour, hour and a half. And often what I will do is I will lift the foil, see if I can see fruit bubbling under the topping. And when it starts to bubble, you can take off the foil and just let it sit in the oven for a little bit longer so that the crisp really crisps. So I made two individual ones here earlier. And this one is Right, ready. The fruit has become soft and gooey and the topping is nice and crisp.